Well, hello, friends. Guess what time it is? It's bedtime. Just kidding. It's, it's not really bedtime, but it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Have you ever pretended with your stuffed animals that you were tucking them in for bed? Maybe you read them a little bedtime story. Or maybe you got a soft blanket and wrapped them up and tucked them in. Maybe you even had a special song that you sang to them. It's so much fun to pretend. And sometimes, do you like to get tucked in at night? And has your mom or dad ever said to you, sweet dreams, after they tuck you in? Well, today, in our true Bible story, we're going to hear more about Joseph and we're going to hear about someone who had a dream. A dream is like a story that you see when your eyes are closed. This person who had a dream was a powerful leader. He was in charge. So we're going to hear this true story about this leader who had a dream and what Joseph had to do with it. Are you ready? Let's go. you're all here today. I was getting ready for the big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, 
add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, in what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Ho, ho, what are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan. It's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my Sweet Dreams Cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three! Tell me a story! Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. Mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food. So they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too. And God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. 
I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Joseph helped save grain so lots and lots of people could have food. God's plan was for Joseph to help all those people. God has a plan for us too, and God's plan is always good. So let me ask you, who has a plan for you? That's right, God has a plan for me. Sometimes things are hard. Sometimes we have to do hard things, like help clean up, or we have to learn something new at school, or sometimes we get sick and we don't get to do something we really wanted to do. Joseph trusted God's plan even when he had hard things to do. He knew God's plan is always good. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for every boy and girl that are watching this right now. I know you have a plan for them because you love them. So I pray that they will always trust that you have a plan for them. And even when hard things happen, that you'll help them to wait on you, to do the right thing, and to trust in your plan for them. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.